100 grams too much they didn't want to deliver to my home that I paid for because it weighed 20.1 gra kilos 100 grams too much the weighs less than my cell phone just because it went above that 20 kilo limit the mailman didn't want to leave it at my doorstep like he used he is used to I could see the tire tracks in the snow he was there but because the package weighed 100 grams too much he decided to drive all the way to the post office carry it out from his truck even a longer distance to the post office inside the building because 100 grams too much and now I have to go myself to pick it up many hours through the forest on this gravel road in the beginning it was easy with the pulling on the asphalt but now with the gravel road it is getting heavy to carry 20.1 kilos they really shouldn't have this kind of rule that they have a 20 kilos limit when de delivering packages and by the way the post office also has a 20 kilos limit so this package shouldn't even have been delivered to the post office because of the 20 kilo limit but still they delivered there to the post office but they didn't deliver to my home because of the same reason the same rule 20 kilo max rule so why did they deliver it to the post office if it was a 20 kilos limit why couldn't they deliver to my doorstep with the same 20 kilo limit this would, would have been much easier for them because the car the postal truck was there already i could see the tire, tire tracks on my yard he was there he could have easily just lifted the package walked one meter put the box down in front of my doorstep like he used to do but because just a little tiny 100 grams he decided to turn back with his truck drive to the post office leave it there I just don't understand people I just don't understand humans so I, I just can't wait until robots will take over maybe they have more common sense than, than the people do so they really should have different kinds of rules some kind of exception that yeah if it's just only 100 grams then maybe just leave it at my doorstep instead of turn back turn back home with the postal truck it takes less fuel if he just leaves the package there like he was supposed to so when I order this is dog food dog food last time I ordered the exact same content it was below 20 kilos but now they maybe they weighed it wrong and I had to suffer for it maybe they put too much packing material inside and they didn't bother looking at the weight that it was 
it would pass the 20 kilos limit but for the next time I'm not going to order the same items anymore I'm going to order less from that online store it is their loss they're, they're the ones losing when I order less less dog stuff but also that my dogs are also losing because they aren't getting that those dental sticks for their teeth which is inside this box I have a firstly dog food plus a box of dental sticks for the dog's teeth because my dog uh, destroyed his toothbrush when I was brushing his teeth he chewed on the toothbrush it got destroyed so also I, I don't have enough time to brush the dog's teeth I have other things to do I have a lot of plants to water it takes an hour every day to water everything I have hundreds of plants inside so it will take its time I don't have time to brush my dog's teeth so using these denta sticks chewing bones it's very quick and efficient for me and the dogs love it as well it's their favorite uh, time of the day when they get those denta sticks but now I can't buy it anymore because it might go above the 20 kilo limit if I include it in the package so it's going to be bad for everyone just because of that 100 grams too too much weight in the package it will affect a lot of people and my dogs as well and I, I could would have if I had stayed at home I would have built something great with my time like uh, tweaks but no I need to go through the entire forest and walk for hours just to get the package that the mailman didn't want to let go of when he came to my yard and he decided to turn back just turn back and now I have to go many hours so it just doesn't make any sense why anyone would do that just because they they have the rule for the postal workers that it is too heavy to carry at, if it's above 20 kilos and before they had the 32 kilos limit and I could order dog food no problem they delivered to my doorstep below 32 kilos but now they have reduced it to 20 kilos just because the postal service workers are just getting too fat and lazy to carry that much weight like they used to and of course it's just gonna get worse for them if they have to reduce the load and they get out of shape from that if they have to carry less weight it's like if I would suddenly stop walking outside and take a car I would get really fat so reducing the weight limit is actually a bad thing for the health of the postal workers and they said it is it was created to give better health for the postal service workers so they don't have to carry as much weight but it's actually the opposite carrying heavy weight is actually good good for you you get used to it you get used to that load and it is easy easy later for example for me when i go to the food store with a backpack I have reached uh, the limit of my backpack and I, it doesn't feel heavy anymore. I have filled up my backpack to the max. It doesn't feel like I'm carrying anything at all on my back. 
because uh, you get used to anything. So by reducing the limit of the post office packages to 20 kilos is actually a bad thing. It would be like I would be reducing my backpack limit from uh, 20 kilos into 10 kilos and then eventually I would get used to 10 kilos and I wouldn't be able to carry more than 10 kilos anymore which I used to be able to do before so by reducing the limit you're reducing your lifespan because you don't get enough exercise you get fatter you start to lift less weight you don't use enough energy you don't burn enough energy in your body anymore you get fatter and fatter so it was a bad thing if that they re reduced the limit to 20 kilos they which used to be 32 and now just 100 grams too much they aren't willing to give home delivery like they used to contactless home delivery I have to be there I have to physically be there to lift up the package from his truck but he is still lifting up the package I never need to lift anything I just have to be there just stand beside the postal postal man while he is lifting the package from his truck into my doorstep okay so it makes absolutely no difference whatsoever that i'm there to help carry the package because i don't need to carry the package anyway so that 20 kilo rule is just uh, invisible it is it isn't even needed because the postal man is still carrying the package for me every single time even when it's above 20 kilos so this rule shouldn't exist it's a really bad rule to have 20 kilo limit because they need my help if it's a few grams about 20 kilos but they still don't need my help because they do it themselves anyway the world is getting dumber every year no question about it no question about it just this is just, just ridiculous what they are what they are doing for 100 grams uh, I have to pull this heavy back, pull this heavy box and I get injured in my back because I need to be in a kind of a bent backwards position of my body. It is not natural to pull stuff from behind your back like this, that you bend backwards I get injury, pain. It's like the postal worker is punching me repeatedly in my back because he didn't want to carry for a few seconds to leave it at my doorstep like he was supposed to do. Instead he decided to drive all the way to the post office, carry the package inside the building into the post office building and leave it there instead. That doesn't make any sense. That, that doesn't make any sense. It would have it much easier to leave it at my doorstep. Would have walked one meter to my doorstep, to my porch. But instead he had to carry 100 meters into the post office building. So... <laughs> What can you do? 
what can you do when people disappoint you? You just try to find something positive. Let's find, some, find something positive with this. I'm getting exercise. Yeah, this is positive. Yeah, I just hope my cart isn't going to break because I have another 20 kilo <laughs> box to pick up tomorrow. Okay. So it is just extra, extra weight for me. And if my cart will break, I will have to carry 20 kilos in my hands. So it's actually a good thing if uh, that I have a cart. It's a very luxury, luxury transportation device to have a cart that you can pull behind you. Okay. So. Getting exercise, that is the positive thing I can think about. I can't think of anything else positive with this event. I can't think of anything. Uh, just um, So when, when there's nothing else uh, that you can think about, um, at least tell yourself, at least I am getting exercise. And exercise is really important in life, that you get exercise, you live a longer life from that exercise. When something bad happens, maybe your car breaks down. You have to walk many miles to the nearest gas station. You say, yeah, at least I'm getting exercise. So try to find something positive with bad things happening. Maybe something even worse would have happened if you didn't go out on this long walk. Maybe something bad worse would have happened. Who knows? Nobody knows what what is going on behind the scenes. Nobody knows. So don't be negative. Just accept accept bad things happening. Accept the injustice. Just accept it. Maybe in the future something is going to happen. Karma will happen in the future. And uh, Maybe you have been generous, giving a lot of money to charity and doing a lot of good things in your life. You have uh, quit those bad habits that you did before. You are doing everything right, but still bad things happen to you. And you, uh, you question it. Why does this happen to me? I've been so good. I've been so good lately. But maybe it's just a test to see if you're still going to be a good person even when bad things happen to you or maybe that bad event is just a delayed form of karma for all the bad things you did previously in your life and you just have to take that uh, punishment and go past it and then maybe later in the future good things will constantly happen to you every day as a reward for that you went past all those uh, hurdles in your life then and you kept being a good person without changing and then you get rewarded from that okay so just keep on going live life with a clear conscience be a good person be generous even if bad things happen to you, just continue being good. Don't change to the bad. I know many people who turn bad when things don't go their way, when they feel it is unfair when stuff happens. Then they turn into bad people. But maybe there's something better waiting for you in the future. Some great things might be waiting for you in the future. And you have to go through this testing period that you are being tested how you will act when bad things happen to you are you going to just take this abuse and accept it that there's nothing you can do or are you going to uh, are you going to do something bad to other people as a revenge because something bad happened to you? 
you want to just move on ignore things ignore when bad things happen to you and uh, try to be positive find something positive with uh, all that injustice and if you keep a positive state of mind you are going to live a happier life that, uh, that you, you don't get upset as easily as before when bad stuff happens but you just have to accept it that's the best way to live life just accept the injustice there's nothing you can do about it so why would you bother wasting your energy on getting upset and angry when bad stuff happens bad stuff will always happen in life that's a natural thing everyone will face face something bad face something unfair everyone will experience that and uh, you, you can't control that the only thing you can control is how you feel about that how do you feel are you going to let it affect you get angry start uh, destroying things break things break the wall in your home break uh, glasses break windows are you going to do that no just accept it that things are going to happen just just wait until the next thing next unfair thing is going to happen and accept it instead of being shocked that wow how can this happen to me it happens to everyone so don't be shocked everyone will be an, in an accident in a fire everyone will die it is no mystery things are going to happen sooner or later just accept it and move on don't spend time whining spend time into learning from things and being in a positive mood okay I'm in a lot of pain now with my shoulder and back but yeah I'm still being positive I'm getting massage when I come home so I don't have anything to complain about I will go now goodbye